That will a man in his first place sleep with another woman outside, skin to skin, and you don't expect results. You don't prevent, you don't just prevent uh, 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 disease as well, you also prevent unwanted pregnancy. <laughs>
and uh, because of the European uh, basketballs and all those things, mm. they uh, they live in separate country, just as you explained. Yeah. Now that they are coming together for the reassurance, and the guy said, "You must swear." I will understand where the angle is coming from because of some certain traditional Maybe forbidden they stuff. Married, yeah. No, let's say they are married. Okay. And uh, they're separate yeah. because of you know along the line for the man to be well assured because in some traditions in Africa we know that if the woman does something outside his marital home yeah. like sleep with another man there is a cost that goes with it yeah. according to their belief yeah. so if that guy is coming from that angle and i will say okay you can go let's say the i will just okay I, I will not interfere because it's their tradition but say you are dating a girl in a relationship you have never engaged her Mm -hmm. or even if you engage her you have never paid a diary mm -hmm. and you are telling this girl she must swear oh boy mm -hmm. like, for me I, I will not allow my sister to undergo such uh process because that kind of man will always feed with I, jealousy yeah i believe insecure and yeah. he's trying to proclaim his insecurity on the girl yeah. by telling the girl you have to go and swear to reassure me that uh, you have not slept with any girl if i sleep with any girl answer what and so what? Uh -huh. I sleep with different guys. We are not married. We are not engaged. Why will a girl sleep with different guys in the first place? That's okay. Now, if sorry, it... I have been in this way. Now I want to go this way. Because if we believe too many, like, okay, I'm a Christian, I should not swear. That's why they sleep, sleep, sleep. Because one times I watch this paternity lifestyle, mm -hmm. seeing how women bring somebody's head children, mm -hmm. portrait it on their husband to raise this child up, along the line to find out that, hey, she is not the the man is not the father of these children i'm talking about 20 something years old children or 15 years old children maybe this man now all his life sponsor another people's children through university at the age of 50 something 70 something just find out like hey you are not the owner of these children dog and that kind of thing is so painful but if the woman has to swear on the other hand so I'm just trying to cover the Bible small and talk about the reality. So, guys, we digress. So, what my husband is saying is that as a woman, we have had this argument for the longest time. My husband said it's not wrong when a man is married to a woman and they are both living in Europe, for example, and the man will not go back to Africa, go to that woman pregnant again, marry that woman the traditional way. And he will not tell the woman that is here with him in their abroad. You understand? So my husband is saying it's not wrong. And me, I'm saying there is something uh, for me, I believe, is not the right way. If you want to marry other woman from Nigeria, if you want to get married in Africa again, tell me the mean that is here. And he now tell me, like, okay, what about those women? that will have children for one man maybe have like three or four kids for one man and and the head the man will not find out that this those kids were never for him like the woman even know that the kids was not for this man and the woman is living with the man that is not the same thing me i'm telling my husband that the two is wrong guys i want you guys to be the judge of fit like let me throw more light because this thing have caused a lot 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 of argument in this house she is trying to weigh it in a way of justice that the two arguments has a balance like it's the same like hello it's guys it's the same. answer this question in the comment section i i beg of you i know a lot of you people watch they don't comment but this particular one i want you guys to comment like the man that is married and went outside his uh, uh marital home go to africa or what's wherever and have children as well without letting this woman know you didn't tell her for whatever reason that for you are you are scared or whatsoever reason you did tell her you kept it away from her mm -hmm. but knowingly you guys still have children together let's okay. say you have children together that you call your own okay. both of you share the same blood like, these are my children okay. just that like the man has children as well now on the other hand a woman that have three children for this man and none of these three children belongs to this man. Three. None of them belongs to this man. After years later, after 20 years later, mm. the woman, uh, the man later uh, found out that the, the child is fall sick or whatsoever, the non normally has mm. the, the, the secret to have to come to the public. Mm. The man later find out that these three children mm. does not belong to him. Meanwhile, he has no children as well. Yeah. Let's say this, this one, 
the man not get children elsewhere. The theory called his own is not his own. Okay. Now, or on the other hand, a man that has children with the woman together go elsewhere, married again, have children. If you were to weigh these two, how will you weigh it? Do you think that the woman that has children for a man that has no other children have trained another person picking? Now he crammed way past, or the man will go born for outside. Now, I'm going to answer the question for you the conversation. And for me, I just feel the both are the same. The both it's of never them, the same because, People because the doing. children can be elsewhere. Mm. If you call that the same, mm. let's say if you call that the same, it's just the crime of that man is the same as mm. uh, marrying to a woman that already has children. Okay, this is another bill. Oh, you bring out your children, come and the man. You let on a constant bond together, they, they becomes a blended family. And you know, we have children, your picking can join, you know, it's still kind of I have my home, the one I call my blood. Boy, then you, you don't married, have any if you are married to me and you got other woman pregnant, yes, or you got married to other woman, why can't you tell me? The only way some men, I don't know, the only way I believe some men don't tell their wife, because before the woman could a man could confront you. His wife and uh, I got another woman. Mar uh, I'm married to another woman. Is because there is no love. No, you start from I got another woman pregnant by mistake. You start from there. Okay, if you said I got another woman pregnant by mistake, of which is rampant in most marriage these days, mm -hmm. but the ability for that woman to contain is her anger and said, okay, I know you made a mistake. Let's learn how to deal with it. That child is going to take care of that child or whatsoever. But that woman is not coming to my home. Can, let's say case closed. Mm -hmm. That's the best way a woman can handle such issue. Because no matter how you're going to rant, mm -hmm. you only uh, rant this man out of the marriage and make him fall in love with that woman he said he mistakenly got pregnant. Because I don't even see a reason why a man in the first place would just go outside his marital home and get another woman pregnant. The only thing that will always shares a man out of his home is because of the attitude of that woman. But what about but what about some marriage? They are not having issue. They are all okay. Yeah. And when the man got to that woman pregnant, you now say, no, it was mistake. My was mistake. drunk that day. So are mistake. you now still trying to? Because Nothing the way mistake. you are putting and it now, you are putting it see, like if man have issue in his marriage, that is the only way. He can go and sleep with other woman. For me, no, I don't no, believe no. in it. It's not about it's sleeping not with another woman. I'm telling you about impregnating another woman. Because any man that says na raw, nice, but, uh, no, maybe any man that say. says mm. na raw, nice, sweet pass, that kind of man can easily bring disease, infection, Asia, whatever sickness to his wife at home in the first place. And this kind of man can always bring another children to his, his wife. So a woman should learn how or to understand the kind of man they, they, they got married. married to. Because there are some men. If a man is conscious of himself for two reasons, outside his marital home, sickness and getting another woman pregnant, it becomes too difficult to bring another children. Because he knows that, okay, I have to just cut them. Yeah, you, the children don't just generate without you. Okay, how will a man in his first place sleep with a, another woman outside, skin to skin, and you don't expect results? You don't yeah. prevent, you don't just prevent uh, 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 disease as well, you also prevent unwanted pregnancy. That's why you see in the relationship, some girl, some boy dates women, date their girlfriend for long, there is no child because they prevent it in whatsoever way. But on the other hand, if a woman, if a man becomes so stupid enough to allow a woman or side chick or girlfriend to deceive her and say, I don't be small picking now because when a woman starts telling you that, bro, you are about to marry a second <laughs> wife or you are about to have a baby mama outside your home. I don't be small picking now. I, I don't know when, uh, if something like that, I know what I will take. Now you start mentioning all kinds of waiting that they take, take the washer. Bro, don't fall for it. And a guy, if you are if only a fool, and let me use that word to clarify, only a fool will sleep with another woman outside skin to skin and I come back home and feel more relaxed from a guy from a cute man like this i, will I know no. you're not doing it i trust you i know but you're not no for it. the now 
Don't say, don't say you know. You would never do it. For not the, now, not forever. No. Your attitude will determine no that. Attitude. Your character, character, character will determine that. You will not die. You cannot, if, if you will knock me out of the marriage, I, I will not go. I will yes, not leave you. you are joking. I'm a good person. Like, it no, knows, I said it for knows. the now, nobody knows the future. But I'm praying that I should continue to have this kind of heart that I have presently. That I can say to myself, I know the shit. And just like it will be, we say, we know the gishi shi. That's how they do. <laughs> I love the shit. So, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you understand everything we are talking about. And please, if you do, do us well to comment your opinion in the comment section down below. Let us know what you think. My husband will go through the comment section himself to see what you guys are talking about. I want to read the comments, please. Let guys. us know what you think in the comment section down below. And for now, on the side, to subscribe. I'm watching if you don't subscribe. Like and comment your thoughts in the comment section down below don't we'll forget you guys we love you and our next god bless video. you i know many of you did not vote for me <laughs> but <laughs> you are <laughs> disappointed <laughs> <that's>, <laughs> i'm standing where your candidate is not stand <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys in our next video Bye. <laughs>